Hi everybody and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to teach you the demonstrative adjectives in Spanish. These words are um, the words that you use in English to indicate if one thing is near or far away like this, this, that, those, those words. So let's see. So in Spanish, we also have that and we also have this, but we have genders in Spanish, feminine and masculine. So that's why this increased a little bit the difficulty of this topic, but actually is just the same like in English. So we have este, that means this, and we use it for masculine objects like car. So este carro. Esta casa, this house, as it's feminine, then we use esta. Also, uh, we use these two because we are talking about objects that are very near to us while we are talking. But there are others two, other two that we use uh, to talk about objects that are far away. Ese, that means that car. Ese carro, that car. Esa casa, that house. Okay? Also, we can say the plural. Esos carros, esas casas. So, we have in Spanish this and that. But we have the feminine version and the masculine version. So, in Spanish, we also have eso and esa. They also mean that, but we use this one like to indicate um, something. Maybe the most similar pronoun in, in English is it. It. Because eso and esa, we cannot use it without a verb. We have to say it is. So, eso, esa could be it is. Okay? Eso es. Eso era, it was, okay? And the equivalent eh, to say neither, it is este. Este es un carro. Esta es una casa. So, what are the plurals? Well, we can say these cars, plural. Estos carros, or these houses, estas casas. And if those objects are far away, we say esos or esas, those cars or those houses. Esos carros, esas casas. Also, there are other demonstrative adjectives that um, are very similar to those that I just told you. Uh, I feel they are a little bit more formal, but actually they are the same for me as a native speaker. So if the car of the house is far away, we can say aquel carro. Yeah. So maybe the feeling that I have when I say aquel carro is that maybe it's a bit more far away, a little bit, not that much. Aquella casa, that house. And if it's plural, aquellos carros. Those cars, aquellas casas, those houses. And of course, if it's one, este carro, if it's plural, estos carros, esta casa, estas casas. Now, last um, adjectives are aquí, that is when you are, uh, the object is very near to you, is in the same position like you, ahí is a little bit, um, it's like near to you, allí is a little bit far, um, far, farther, and allá is much far away, okay, so aquí, allá, and then in the middle you have ahí, that is a little bit nearer to the speaker, and allí, that is a little bit farther, 
the speaker a little bit. But allá is very, very far away. I know this topic is very confusing. So try to practice the most you can. Maybe try to act and repeat many, many times and you will see that you will get it. So I hope that you have learned something new in this lesson. And if you have any question, doubt, please let me know. Bye.